руки, руки помотаем. Э, ну ты чисто похож на Ника Пелика с GTA 4. А как ты прогрел свои выходные, да? Мы, бойцы 9-й бригады МОМС ВР 2-го стрелкового батальона, просим, чтобы нас отменяли на бойцов Азова. Мужчины, помашите в камеру. Пацки сделали правильно, они сдали в плен. И вот поэтому они выживут сегодня. И главное, чтобы их несколько долб бы не захватили их. Опа! Какие, какие красивые. Руки, руки помотаем. Э, ну ты чисто похож на Ника Пелика. Света 4. А как ты прогрел свои выходные, да? Мы, бойцы 9-й бригады ОМС ВР 2 стрелкового батальона, просим, чтобы нас отменяли на бойцов Азова. The first reaction from Ukraine to the long-awaited decision from the US to use US-supplied long-range missiles to strike deeper inside Russia was notably restrained. Today, much is being said in the media about us receiving permission for the relevant actions. But strikes are not made with words. Such things are not announced. The missiles will speak for themselves, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly video address on Sunday. His statement came shortly after he posted a message of condolence on Telegram following a Russian attack on a nine-story building in the northern city of Sumy, 40 kilometers from the border with Russia. In his nightly address, Zelensky also noted that on Sunday, Russia conducted one of the largest and most dangerous missile and drone strikes targeting Ukraine's energy infrastructure. And this is the answer to everyone who tried to achieve something with Putin through talks, phone calls, hugs, and appeasement, he said. America is Ukraine's most valuable ally in the war, providing more than $56.2 billion in security assistance since Russian forces invaded in February 2022. The decision allowing Kyiv to use the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, for attacks farther inside Russia comes as President Vladimir Putin positions North Korean troops along Ukraine's northern border to try to reclaim hundreds of miles of territory seized by Ukrainian forces. Biden's move also follows the presidential election victory of Donald Trump, who has said he would bring about a swift end to the war and raised uncertainty about whether his administration would continue the United States' vital military support for Ukraine. News of Biden's decision followed meetings over the last two days with the leaders of South Korea, Japan and China where North Korean troops were central to the talks, which took place on the sidelines of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Peru. Biden did not mention the decision during a speech at a stop to the Amazon rainforest in Brazil on his way to the Group of 20 summit. As many as 12,000 North Korean troops have been sent to Russia, according to U.S., South Korean and Ukrainian assessments. U.S. and South Korean intelligence officials say North Korea also has provided Russia with significant amounts of munitions to replenish its dwindling weapons stockpiles. Сьогодні був один з найбільших та найбільш небезпечних за всю війну російських ударів. 210 дронів і ракет одразу, в тому числі гіперзвукова та аеробалістична. Більшість цілей, на щастя, вдалося збити. Мішенню для Росії була саме енергетика, критична інфраструктура. І це відповідь усім, хто хотів чогось досягти з Путіним, 
розмовами, телефонними дзвінками, обіймами, умиротворенням. Росія вже майже тисячу днів робить одне те й саме. І від цього треба захищатись, треба бути сильними, час інвестувати треба не у те, щоб поговорити з кимось в Москві, а щоб дійсно змусити Росію до закінчення війни. План посилення України – це план перемоги, який я представив партнерам. Одним з головних пунктів є далекобійність для нашої армії. Сьогодні багато в медіа говорять про те, що ми отримали дозвіл на відповідні дії. Але удари завдають не словам. Такі речі не анонсують. Ракети самі за себе скажуть. Обов'язково. Слава Україні! U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the U.S. has authorized aid and assistance for people affected by Typhoon Mani and five previous storms that struck the Philippines. I've authorized U.S. forces to provide support to respond to the super typhoon. We've also secured another $1 million in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge aid to the Philippine people, Austin said on Monday in Manila. Typhoon Mani left at least three villagers missing, destroyed houses, knocked out power in entire towns and displaced large numbers of villagers before blowing away from the northern Philippines, worsening the crisis wreaked by five previous storms, officials said Monday. Mani was one of the strongest of the six major storms to hit the northern Philippines in less than a month and had sustained winds of up to 195 km per hour when it slammed into the eastern island province of Catanduanes on Saturday night. Austin commented while taking part in a groundbreaking for the Combined Coordination Center for the U.S. and Philippine militaries. This center will enable real-time information sharing for our common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to regional challenge, Austin said. Yeah, I mentioned earlier today, it wasn't nice that uh, just yesterday we had yet another horrific storm that went through. And uh, in our thoughts, prayers, and condolences were with the people uh, who had been disadvantaged because of not only this storm, but the five storms that preceded uh, this last storm. Uh, I've authorized U.S. forces to provide uh, the right support to respond to uh, the Super Typhoon. And we also secured another million dollars in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge uh, aid to uh, the Philippine people. This center will enable real-time information sharing for a, a common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to regional challenges. President Marcos has repeated it several times that the United States' presence in the Indo-Pacific region is essential for maintaining peace and stability in this region.